In this tutorial, we'll be creating this 3D animated stroke using Element 3D within After Effects. Now, obviously, you can use any text or logos or even shapes, but I'm gonna be showing you how to create this on a simple text. Now, I am using this cursive type of font because it usually looks better when creating a stroke effect, but you can obviously use whatever you want to. So, we'll start off by creating a basic mask around our text here, just like a regular 2D stroke effect. So, I'll just draw a few shapes here around our text and I will obviously speed this up. So once you're done, it should look something like this, and you can obviously create a single mask around all the text here to create sort of a handwritten effect as well. All right, let's go ahead and add the stroke effect, and I'll change the paint style here to reveal original image, set the brush size to maybe 15, and the brush hardness to 100. I'll set the spacing to zero, and we'll start off by animating the end here. So let's set the end to zero, set a keyframe, and let's go to three seconds and make it 100. Now it's obviously not animating all of it, so I'll just select all masks. And once we play this back, you can see we're getting the basic stroke animation using these masks. Now, one thing you might notice is we've got some issues like this one, and this is because the mask is going too backwards here. So I will manually adjust this like so. And you wanna do this also on many cases where you have like roughened edges here. Instead of just increasing the brush size a lot, you can just manually adjust this and it will be much cleaner and work better for you. So let's just make sure we don't have any rough edges here. More things we can fix maybe. Let me increase this here. And just in case you don't want it to go one by one, you can unselect stroke sequently here and it will just animate each stroke at the same time, sort of revealing everything together. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna create it like so. I'll also select these keyframes, hit F9, and just bring it a bit closer here to two seconds. And this is what I'm gonna be working with. So let's go ahead and pre-compose this and we'll name this stroke. And I'll create a new solid for my element. And I will also create a new camera, hit OK. Now, in order to transition the stroke effect into element, we're going to be using masks. So element can actually read animated masks. And in order to trace this, we're going to go into layer, auto trace. And here under time span, we've got two options. One of them is current frame, which we usually use on logos or something and work area. So if we hit OK on the work area, it's going to create a mask all throughout the timeline here. And it's pretty easy since it's a black and white shape. So let's see the result. So you should end up with something like this. Now, one issue you're gonna face straight away is if we hit U to bring up the mask here, sometimes you're gonna have some masks not appearing on frame one. And that is just gonna cause issues because element is gonna see this as a shape and it's gonna create an object which we don't want to. So if we go into, let's say, max number seven here, and let's find it, so it's this one. I'm just gonna drag this off frame here and make sure it doesn't bother us. So once the element starts seeing it, it's not gonna be just a 3D dot. And I'll do the same for this one here. So let's find it and just drag it off frame like so. All right, and we're also gonna have one more issue here, but let's go into element first and start revealing the stroke. So I will hide the 2D layer and let's add element to this. We'll go into custom layers here, select our stroke layer and make sure we have mask selected. Now, once we go into element and select extrude, right away, we can see our text here. Let's hit okay and let's see what we've got so far. All right, so as you can see, we've got the stroke animation working pretty well, but we've got some alignment issues. Now, the best fix that I found for this is if we go into our stroke layer here and we're just gonna create sort of shapes here around our text, isolating it within like a frame, like so. So basically that is gonna make it aligned to our element 3D layer and it's not gonna go all over the place. This is the best solution that I found. And one more thing here, you wanna make sure all these four masks are on top of the original ones you've got. And if you move any masks off frame, so for example, if I go here, I've got this mask off frame. You gotta make sure it's within the range of this new mask and not over it. So again, it's kind of complicated, but this is the best solution that I found. And let's see the result here. So as you can see, we fixed one issue, but we do have this frame up here now. And to easily fix this, we'll go back into element here, 
change from the material view into element view. And if we go into path zero and maybe even path one, it's going to be your frame that we just created and you can just disable it here and the issue is resolved. So this is basically how you create 3D strokes with an element 3D using the basic 2D method. Now this works just as any simple text layer. So we can just go into the bevels here. Let's choose the text, choose one of the bevels and you've got your 3D stroke with an element and you can do a bunch of things with this. So at the beginning of the video, you've seen this frame with the shape and the way that this is basically the same. So I have this pre-made element, which is just black and white. I auto traced it with the same mask that we just created and made the frame around it, imported it into element and we've got the same exact result. All right, this is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.